We were just riding. Normally, they always ride in front, run in front, sorry. And, and um, I'm always trying to keep up. And then my puppy, she's about 10 months old, she um, let out a bark. And usually that means that there's usually a, other other hikers or other mountain bikers just say, you know, she just, they're just a normal startle thing. And then, um, so then I, I kind of got off because sometimes there's horseback riders. And, um, and then the bear just showed up. And so I just kind of stepped back and then I just fell into the Salal and then he came on came on top of me and started eating and uh, the helmet he bit right through the helmet and got my ear and um, I had my lip hanging out and I'm lucky I didn't lose my nose and face that's I'm, I'm grateful for that I could have very easily um, one time he came down on me I was kind of upside down and he grabbed right a hold of my side and did one of them bite and jiggles things you know I'm thinking there goes a bunch of meat there, you know, after the other one. But I was lucky, it was just, it was, it didn't, it didn't take a big chunk out. You know, I was upside down and I actually remember kicking him in the face a little bit and it was like surreal, it was really, you can't, you can't, you don't understand like this is happening, all of a sudden I'm, I really thought I was going to die and uh, that this was it. I just said, I don't remember the exact words, but I asked God that I, I didn't want to die today. And, and then all of a sudden the bear looked, he's down at me, he looked um, to my right, and then he just left. And I, it, wasn't, it wasn't the dogs, I don't know, um, I didn't hear them, I didn't know where they were. He just left for a moment. So then I looked to my left, down the trail again, it was a little slopey thing, and then he was on his way back. And so, you know, you know, then I just, just, it seemed like it was slow motion. I got on the bike, see I have motion, and I can use my fingers, and I just went the other way from where, where I came, and I rode, I just kept riding, and I knew, I was conscious enough, I knew the trail back, I knew how to get back, and I had to leave my dogs. I, you know, I remember that conscious thought that I had to go. I knew it was life and death, and so I just came back to here. Not at all. We were just going along, and you never, never, I never ever see a bear anywhere. I mean, all we were doing was just doing our normal ride, um, and and the dogs were not in a. Well, like I remember, Oak, I, people were telling me Oak was barking and barking, and he was not doing that. I would have heard it. There was nothing, nothing going on, and and they, I'm, I think they were petrified too, and they just probably stepped back into the salal or ran off. I think, you know. Well, my opinion is um, is that um, this is what I wanted to phrase that was that I'm not an expert, and the, uh, the game wardens are, and I am just referring to how the game wardens it's their job and what to do with the bear. It's not it's not me. Um, it's like the surgeon um, we went last week, and we were bandaging it up. I have a nurse who's coming in every day bandaging me up, and. Uh, and then he took a look at it, and his decision was, all I need to do is put a, a patch over it. I don't need to wrap it. And, and I have to take his, his expertise um, on how to handle well, this kind of, um, these kind of cuts. And you know, it was in surgery, too, so and they had to stitch it all up together, my muscles and stuff. And um, so I have to go with the experts. The game wardens are the experts, and so that's how I